hi guys it is justine welcome back to another vlog i am so pooped i've had uh, i was gonna say i've had such a busy day but really i've had such a busy week baby is eight days old today and all week long it's just been like doctor's appointment after doctor's appointment my husband and i both got our covid vaccines this week um both of my older kids started sports a couple weeks ago. It's the first time they've been in extracurriculars since last March. And so we've been running around for those um, on top of having two babies because uh, my other, my second youngest is 18 months old and we have a newborn. And then now we have two big kids that are in extracurriculars again. Um, so it's been a wild week. My house is trashed. We've been ordering a lot of delivery this week and eating a lot of frozen meals. Um, and then today was like our only day that we had absolutely nothing going on. So I pretty much spent the entire day organizing photos from my phone onto like my external hard drive. Um, and then I took, like I set up a little newborn photo shoot for my daughter so I could use photos, like good quality photos for um, birth announcements. So I ordered, so I took those photos, ordered birth announcements. I had, I ordered a bunch of just prints um, for her baby book. I also, my two big kids, a few years ago, my sister printed out like a big canvas of um, them together to hang on the wall. So I also took a photo of the two youngest and ordered a canvas of them so I can put it next to the canvas of the big kids. Um, and what else? And then I have a bunch of like posters and stuff um, that needed frames. And so I ordered frames for all those. So I actually, um, we've lived in this house since the end of the, uh, we moved here at the end of July. It's now the end of April. And I haven't decorated like any rooms except for my kids' rooms. And my kids' rooms, I didn't even decorate. It, they decorated they just they have their own posters and stuff they told me where to put them and that's where i put them but the rest of the house there's pretty much nothing hanging up on the wall so um i'm working on that i have like i finally just got all of our old decorations all of our old pictures and paintings and stuff out of storage i'm gonna hang those up tonight and um and i'm gonna work on the baby book tonight because i ordered a bunch of see the lighting in here is not great um, I ordered a bunch of stickers off of Amazon. I ordered this pack. Um, what are these ones? Okay, so these ones are actual scrapbook stickers and they're like girly and it comes with, do, do, do. It comes with a lot. I wanna say it comes with like 60 stickers or something. And then this one are like Visco stickers, the kind that people put on their water bottles. This one comes with 70. I'm gonna just open them up. Um, and I'm not going to just put them on the new baby's baby book, the older girls and even my son, they have like some pages that just need to be decorated a little more. So I'm just going to go through and put some stickers wherever they need to be. Anyway, so here's the Visco pack. There's no way I can go through all of them because there's just so many, but just a lot of, you know, cute things. Not necessarily like baby related or girly or anything, but they'll be cute regardless. Um, and then here are like the girly ones. And these ones are not really advertised as like um, baby book stickers. They're just advertised as scrapbooking stickers, but they're like pink and I don't know. I don't know, they're just cute. <laughs> So those are my plans today is to start hanging up all of the, all of our old wall art um, and work on the baby book. And if you guys are new, these are what I use for my kids' baby books. I go like all out for their baby books. I pretty much scrapbook it all myself and it doesn't fit in like your regular standard scrapbook. Um, and I don't really like the pre-made baby books with like the pre-made prompts. I like to put... I don't know, just like whatever I feel like inside. So I use these gigantic three ring binders because that's all that, um, that's the only thing that I could fit everything in unless I do like a baby box, which I know some people do those instead, but yeah. 
so that is my little update. Okay, so really quickly wanted to share. My grandma sent us a little gift. Um, these are from the brand Stasher, and they are like reusable silicone bags. So you can use these instead of Ziploc bags. And I cannot get this open with one hand. There you go. But they're super cool, and like they come in a bunch of different colors and different sizes. So I don't know. She didn't even tell me she was sending me these. And then I got them in the mail and was like, what the hell are, is this package? So I wasn't expecting anything. Look, there's even a tiny little one, perfect for like school lunches. And then two big old ones. How cool are these? And so then you don't have to waste plastic with paper bags. Yeah, just wanted to share those really quickly. Um, they're a really great like alternative if you are trying to be like more environmentally conscious. And yeah. Hi guys, so I just filmed a couple sit down videos. So while I have my like hair and makeup done, it's the first time I've done my hair and makeup in a few weeks. Um, I thought I would just unbox some boxes I recently got from Influencer. Um, Influencer is an app, anyone can sign up for it and they basically send you products free to review. I always get messages and like comments and stuff from people saying that they signed up for an influencer and they haven't like received anything yet. Um, my biggest tips to get free products from influencer are to make sure that um, you are, you have your snaps updated, which snaps are kind of like surveys on the website just to see um, like what kind of products you shop for and make sure that you are reviewing products on their site. Basically, if you're active, on the, not the site, cause I don't think they have an actual website anymore. Um, but if you're active on the app, like the more active you are, the more likely they, they are to send you um, free things. So that is like the biggest um, bit of advice I can give to those who are new to Influencer. Um, the very first box though that I got recently is from Arc Naturals and it is a puppy box. Um, it comes with, they sent me, I don't know, some sort of dog treat for my dog. My dog actually doesn't really like dog treats. The only treats he really likes are milk bones. Everything else he's just not interested in. But we've never tried these before. Um, it says it is for joint rescue, energy, mobility, and recovery. It says it has an antioxidant called astaxanthin which is more powerful than vitamin C. And it says dogs of all ages and activity levels will benefit from these. Um, and they comes with chicken, it comes in chicken and beef flavors and they sent uh, my dog a chicken flavor. So it looks like this. We'll see if he actually likes these ones. Um, I've actually never heard of Arc Naturals before so uh i guess we'll just we'll see if he likes it he doesn't even like like um like begging the begin bacon strips which i've never met a dog who doesn't like those because they're basically bacon but um he's just i don't know he's a picky boy um says increases endurance maximizes mobility shortens recovery time uh do, do, do. improves skeletal alignment taking pressure off joints and super antioxidant power. All of this stuff about like mobility and joints makes me feel like it's more for older dogs. It says dogs of all ages though. Um, all ages and all life stages. Interesting. Powered by sea cucumber and nature's most powerful antioxidant, anstaxanthin, which I already mentioned. Gluten-free soft chew squares. Okay, that's probably like way more information you guys cared to know about these dog treats but these are the ones that um they sent over so that's what's in the first box now the second box is a lot more fun in my opinion um but it is a target box and i already took a peek and saw what's inside and they sent a bunch of goodies over um first thing is they sent some coffee over but one of the they sent k-cups um but one of the K-Cups exploded because there's like coffee grounds all over this box. So 
At least one of the K cups in here has opened up, but this is the Good and Gather Signature Fair Trade Organic Sumatra Mandeling Dark Roast. So, can never go wrong with K cups. Um, I actually haven't been loving coffee at home lately. Uh, during my pregnancy, if you guys watch my vlogs regularly, you already know all this, but during my pregnancy, I could not drink coffee at all. It, the, just the idea of coffee sounded so gross to me. Whenever I did drink it, I had like a nasty aftertaste. Um, and then towards the end of my pregnancy, I could finally stomach it again. And now, um, I'm fine with it, but I don't like coffee at home. I pretty much only drink iced coffee from coffee places. But I'm sure my husband will love this. And then a bunch of like makeup and skincare and goodies and stuff. First, this Bliss Sunscreen Block Star Invisible Daily Sunscreen SPF 30. It came in this little box. Cute little box thing. Let's open it up. Oh, I'm cute. This is like a perfect little travel size. I'm actually gonna put this in my purse um because all my other sunscreens are like pretty big and this will be like a perfect sunscreen to just like throw in my purse and then if my kids need sunscreen on the go it's right there and then they also sent a nyx um butter gloss i wonder if this is one of the new ones because i know they just released a bunch of like nude butter glosses uh i really like the nyx butter glosses i have at least one i might have two um, but they're like a nice gloss. They're a little on the sticky side, but they're not like horribly uncomfortably sticky. Um, and they come in like a ton of different colors. I just, this is in the color Sugar High. Um, it might be one of the, one of the um, nuance. And these smell really good. Kind of like a sweet smell. So they also sent me that. And then um, a deodorant. This is the raw sugar deodorant in the lavender and lemon sugar scent. It is free of aluminum, baking soda, talc, talc, parabens, and propylene glycol. Um, it, and it's in biodegradable packaging. Let's open it. Um, I am always very like skeptical of all natural deodorants. I know they're better for you, but I always have just um, that experience with them. They never really help with my BO. So if you know of like a, I mean, I guess we'll see if this works, but if you know of an all natural, like aluminum free deodorant, that's like, ooh, some little pieces came off when I took the lid off. It smells good. I can't really smell the lemon. I can definitely smell the lavender. Okay, how does it go up? Do you have to push it? Oh. Okay, I'll just push it up a little bit. You push it up from the bottom. I have a feeling that once you push it up, it's hard to push down. So you probably have to like push it down by pressing on the actual deodorant. I can't really smell the lemon. I can definitely smell the lavender though. It smells good. Which I go through phases. Sometimes I love lavender. Sometimes I don't like it at all. Lately I like it because I just feel like it's, I don't know, calming. Um, so... We are going to try this. I hope it works. I've never tried the raw sugar brand before, but like I said, I have yet to find an all natural deodorant that like genuinely works for me. And then these next two things, I think I'm going to film some reviews on them. Um, I've been trying to get back into doing like makeup reviews on Fridays. If you guys are new, I have like a little series that I do on Fridays, not every Friday, but if I do a makeup video, I will usually post it on Fridays um, and I'll call it Face Fridays. So um, I think I might review these for that video. So the first is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Volume Mascara. I really love this packaging. It's like a green teal packaging. Um, I don't know if this is new or not. I don't, it doesn't say new on the box, but I feel like I've recently seen a bunch of influencers talking about this and it's been very recent that they've been talking about it. So I don't know if it's just coincidence or if it is new, but I don't, I don't think it says new on here. This says clean formula, smudge proof volume, 
and vegan. So there's that. I think, like I said, I'll do like a review or first impressions. And then these are Kiss um, Magnetic Eyeliner Easy Liquid Application. Um, and so they're just magnetic eyelashes. I've tried magnetic eyelashes from Amazon before, but I've never tried like Kiss brand or any drugstore brand magnetic lashes. So I think these would also be fun to do like a review or first impressions on. So that is it for what came in my two Influencer boxes. Like I said, if you're new to Influencer, uh, the best advice I can give to get the free stuff sent to your door is to be active on the app. Um, I really think that is how they determine who they're gonna send stuff to. Be active on the app and also check your email because they send surveys in your email and those surveys are basically how they determine who to send boxes to, but I think they send the surveys to the people who are most active on the app. So yeah, I guess those two would be the best advice. Be active on the app um, and make sure to check your email for the surveys. But yeah, that is going to be it for now and I'll see you guys in a bit. Good morning guys. Um, I just picked up groceries from Walmart and I stopped by Starbucks and I got a salted caramel cold brew which I thought was a fall drink but it was on the app and I was able to order it so um, I got that and it's not very good. I'm really wondering if like my um, like aversion to coffee has just been Starbucks coffee. My sister told me one time that Starbucks like purposely burns their coffee beans um, and so maybe that's like why I haven't been liking coffee lately. Maybe it's just Starbucks coffee. I have been liking, not just liking, I've been loving the, uh, vanilla cold brew. I think it's called a sweet vanilla cold brew at Sonic and it's really cheap. Um, like Sonic is a lot cheaper than Starbucks and you wouldn't think that like Sonic has good coffee, but that like they're, um, vanilla cold brew sweet vanilla cold brew is really really good and honestly i wish i stopped at sonic and got that instead of this it is so freaking windy outside it's supposed to rain today which makes me so excited because i love the rain and if you guys are new here um i moved from seattle to texas this past summer and i've been missing the rain from seattle so i'm um, really excited that it's supposed to rain today but um, yeah, I'm going to take groceries inside and I can't remember if I got anything worth showing today, but if there's anything fun, um, I'll show it to you guys. Okay. So super quick. Here's the fun stuff. I've been like craving chocolatey cakey things. So chocolate croissants, cranberry orange muffins. And then I got these last time and they're so good. Banana chocolate chunk muffins. And then I needed some more leave-in conditioner, so I just got this John Frieda Frizzies. I've never tried it before. And then this I'm really, really excited about. It's the Summer Edition Red Bull and Dragon Fruit. I also got a ton of other Red Bulls, but um, they're like my typical flavors I usually get. This I think I'm pretty sure is new. I've never seen the Dragon Fruit flavor. So I got one for me and one for my husband just to try out. And then Mother's Day is coming up, and my mom's actually going to be here on Mother's Day, so... I got her some of these Lint mini pralines and um, just the Lint gourmet truffles. So these are for her for Mother's Day. And I'm pretty sure that is it for anything that's um, super exciting. Oh, and then, just kidding, I forgot about this. I got Cinnabon coffee creamer, so hopefully I don't know, maybe this will make my at-home coffee taste better. I think I need to try something other than like Starbucks K-Cups though. So luckily I did get that Target box. So maybe that will taste better than um, Starbucks. Uh, I guess we'll just, we'll see. Sometimes I like coffee, sometimes I don't. I don't really know what's going on lately, but yeah. And then I'm just going to be reusing this bag for my mom's Mother's Day present. Chocolates are in there and they're so cute. Oh, and I did get this doormat, which says dogs, welcome, people tolerated, which I thought was cute. 
Also, this isn't from today, but my husband found this at the store um, last week. Chick-fil-A sauce, a big thing, because it's my favorite. Okay, so my husband is getting a vasectomy today, so I made him a little gift basket. Um, I got this idea from Jess Fam, um, but they have a bunch of like different ideas and stuff on Pinterest. So first off, I put a little card that says Happy Castration Day, um, and then Milk Duds that say shooting duds. Most of these are just puns. And then Swedish Fish, retiring the swim team. It says Sour Patch Kids, no more kids. Um, beef Jerky. And it says getting your beef jerked by someone other than your wife. Nutty Buddy to Nutless Buddy. Just a dong, cause um, castration day you guys get it i don't need to explain it um nuts hella hurt from nutella good bibles from cheese balls and sore nuts instead of corn nuts so i'm gonna give these to him hi everyone happy mother's day today is mother's day i have not picked up the camera since i think tuesday um my mom came this weekend and we had a really fun weekend we got a lot of takeout and delivery um we tried a new donuts place, we went to Dunkin', and we, we tried a new donuts place, but then we went to Dunkin' for just drinks. And we tried their new refreshers, which were very good, but very sweet. Um, I think we both, both my mom and I felt like sick. We got larges and we felt like sick by the end of them. So I would recommend getting a small or a medium if you wanna try the new Dunkin' refreshers. <laughs> and now I am going to dye my hair. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use. So I unboxed um, this Simply Color from, what is that, Schwarzkopf? I don't know. Um, it's in the number nine, Light Blonde. Um, I got it from Influencer and I unboxed it a few vlogs ago. And so I'm gonna use this on my roots, on only my roots. And then I got this from Walmart, it's just purple shampoo. It's from Hask. It's the Blue Chamomile and Argan Oil Blonde Care Shampoo, Brightens and Repairs. Um, and so then I'm going to use this to tone the rest of my hair because I'll show you um, Down here where I'm not going to dye it is like it needs to be toned. I haven't toned it in forever up here um, It hasn't been dyed since August was the last time I did my roots. So that's all the growth My natural color kind of blends into the bleached color pretty well Like it kind of has like a natural ombre sort of thing because I don't ever dye it like a super different color than my natural hair but um so that's that and then I'm just gonna do like a couple little peekaboo streaks with this punky colors and midnight blue um just to have like a little fun pop of color um I also have the same punky colors in like purple and pink and so I was thinking maybe for summer I could do like all three at once I don't know what I would do like an ombre or what but I thought it'd be fun to have all three at once, but for now I'm just gonna do a couple streaks with Midnight Blue. And so those are the three things that I'm gonna use right now. Okay, so I just got this in the mail. Happy Mother's Day. Okay, so kids watched me open this, so I think I'm gonna have to share these. So look how pretty. It's from them and my husband, and then flowers too. I didn't know you could send flowers with edible arrangements. It's so pretty. And then my son also made this little book at school. You can probably hear all kinds of stuff going on in the background. Little mom. Oh, I should put this up by my flowers. How cute. And then a little keychain, which I'm gonna put on my keys. So cute.
my hair turned out. I had my hair straightened and then I put it in a ponytail. So it's not really straight in my bangs anymore, but, and there's a little crinkle right there too. That kind of sucks. But here's how it turned out. That shampoo, the toning shampoo, honestly, not the greatest toning shampoo in the world. Actually on camera, it looks a lot more toned, but in person, I feel like there's still a hint of yellow in my hair. I normally use, um, shimmering lights or for the past like year i've been using the equate knockoff version of shimmering lights but it's literally the exact same as the shimmering lights shampoo and those are both really good um so i think i just need to go back to that one but as soon as i like put the shampoo like in my hand to put on my hair i immediately knew it wasn't going to work as well just because the color of the actual shampoo was not like as dark of a purple you can usually tell how good a purple shampoo is going to be just based on the color of the shampoo. Like, like if the actual shampoo itself is a really, really dark purple, like it almost looks like a hair dye, um, it's typically going to work better. So I think I just need to use that again. Um, my roots, I feel like you guys probably will be able to tell a difference because the difference is so slight, but I can tell a difference. It's more of like a golden blonde than a dirty blonde like it was before. I don't know. It's like, it's a very subtle difference though. But I can't complain too much because like I said, it was a free hair dye. And uh, yeah. And then so then the blue, which is like the most exciting part, I did two big like um, chunks, like two big streaks. What are they called? Like peekaboo. Peekaboo blue. So I did one on this side, just kind of like under my, behind my ear. I did one chunk on this side behind my ear and then one chunk on this side behind my ear. When I was in high school, I used to do like my whole underneath part. And this actually looks like when it's far away, it almost looks like that's what I did. It's just my underneath part. But it's actually just two big chunks and that way you can like kind of hide it if you want to. But then if I curl it, you'll see it uh, more. So yeah, there's just a little hair update. Hi everyone, it is the next morning. I still have bed head. Um, ignore this, my third child um, likes to knock all the books off the bookshelf lately. And so all day long I am just picking up books. Um, but as promised, ooh, I've got a um target order it's nothing crazy but i got like some crop tops and one thing for baby so for baby i got her a wubbanub um all of my kids every single one of my kids has gotten their own wubbanub um, my son had a blue puppy my oldest daughter had a giraffe middle daughter had a unicorn and now the youngest gets a purple hippo um, and I think we actually have the unicorn somewhere. I have no idea where though. So if you've never tried a woven up binky, um, they're really nice when your kids start to like spit out binkies and they like, I don't know if you guys can hear it. There's like birds going crazy outside. Um, when they spit out binkies and like shoot across the room, the woven up, the stuffed animal just kind of helps keep it on their chest and like close to their face so they can find it again easily. And then I got a bunch of these crop tops. They're only $5. I actually got one last year um, in white and I tie dyed it um, with my kids. Like we all tie dyed shirts. And I love that crop top. It is so comfortable and it's like, it's a little sexy without being super revealing. And so you can wear it like every day. So um, I just got it in a few more colors. I got it in black. Um, I got it just in plain white, which I hope I can keep white because I have a really hard time um, not staining white shirts. So I have a regular white. And then they didn't really have, I wanted some like bright colors for summer. The lighting just got really weird. I wanted some bright colors for summer, but they don't really have bright colors. Most of the colors are kind of muted, but I did get this one, which is like a teal. A bright teal. I think I might also eventually order it and they have it in like a gray 
um, just because it's just a really nice basic. And also since it's v-neck and low cut, it's kind of easy to breastfeed in because you can just pull the front down. And then this was just on sale. It was on sale for $3. Um, all of these are from Wild Fable, by the way. And yeah, so is this one, but it was on sale for $3. Normally, I don't know, it's always $3. For some reason, I thought it was on sale. Anyways, but it's just, again, a crop top, but this one's a tank top. And it's in pink, and I just really liked this shade of pink. Um, and then I got a bunch of socks, because I just needed more socks. Um, I feel like I never buy new socks for myself, and so I got this 10-pack. Um, and they are like gray and white and some of them have panda bears on them. So I don't know. It's just a basic, basic pack. Where's the other one with a panda? Oh, it's on this side. So yeah, nothing crazy, but, um, I did get a few, a few tops from Target. I really wanted to get shorts, but I don't know what my size is. Um, and I don't think Target dressing rooms are open. I know some stores have opened their dressing rooms again. I don't think Target has. And I don't want to like buy shorts without trying them on because I know that my previous size doesn't fit me. And yeah, but that is what I picked up, um, picked up, ordered, and I'm so tired right now. Um, life with four kids is kicking my butt, but I will catch up with you guys soon.